Hey book nerds, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my 2018 statistical reading wrap up slash my 2019 reading goals. Um, I really enjoy watching these kinds of videos. I am a massive statistics nerd and I've made a bunch of spreadsheets and graphs and tables and things. Um, I don't have fancy editing software so I can't insert anything into my videos however I have created a word document down below which if you want to open up and look at while I talk about stuff then that might help you if you like visual representations because I know that I certainly do um I didn't want to just have me talking about stats for however long this video is because that's definitely a lot less interesting than looking at a graph um yeah, so I'm just going to start talking about the things I read in 2018. Uh, in total, I read 130 books, which was great. Um, my goal was 100 books, so I'm really pleased that I not only met that, but surpassed that by quite a substantial amount. Um, in general stats first, uh, I read 22 books that were parts of a series and 108 books that were standalone books. That doesn't surprise me. I much prefer standalone books to series. It takes a lot for me to be willing to pick up a series and it usually has to be a complete series because honestly I forget what happens if I have to wait like a year for the next one to be released. In terms of the overall ratings, my overall average rating was 3.37 which honestly is a lot lower than I would have liked it to be. Um, I was hoping or I was expecting it to be a bit higher because it's felt like I had a really good reading year but clearly it's not been as good as I thought it was. Um, in terms of individual star ratings I only had two five star reads which again doesn't surprise me. It takes an absolute lot for a book for me to give it five stars. It means that I have to, I have to want to reread it at some point. Um, it has to be written excellently. I have to have a really deep emotional attachment, not only to the characters, but to the book, to the story itself. And that just doesn't happen that often, so I'm not disappointed that I only have two five star reads. My goal for 2019 is to increase the number of higher star reads that I have, um, and I'll explain in a second about how I'm planning to go about that. I had five 4.5 star reads, which is a bit better. Usually I have to read a book twice as well before it becomes a five star read so some of those 4.5 stars, if I ever reread them, might be bumped up to five stars. I had 22 four star reads which again I'm very happy about. That seems again kind of low considering I read 130 books but on the whole um, that is a reasonable number given the type of things I've read this year and what I know about myself. The highest rating I gave by far was 3.5 stars and I gave that to 40 books. So again that's not too bad because the most common rating I gave was just slightly above average. Again I want that to be higher in 2019 so what I am going to do is I am purging my TBR list. I'll do some videos where I do like TBR and hauls and stuff like that. But basically I'm getting rid of all the books that either have low ratings on Goodreads or that I'm just not excited about the blurb of because um, I have like 700 and something books on my TBR, probably higher by now and I really need to be reading higher rated books because that's the whole point I want to read books that I love and it's a shame that for this year at least, I haven't loved the majority of books that I've read. Most of them have been kind of okay. If we continue down, I had 23 three star books, 16 2.5 books and 9 two star books, which again it's not too bad. Um, it's disappointing but they're not terrible ratings. So for example I only had two 1.5 star books and three 1 star books overall. It means that the majority of books that I read were higher than three stars, which I'm happy with, that's what I want. Um, I'm going to do some stats by month now. So my best reading month in terms of ratings was March, 
and I gave books an average of 3.86 ratings in March and I read 11 books in March. September was my worst month and I had an average of 2.86 um, and I read 12 books in September. What happened in September because it felt like I had a really good reading month at the time but I had some really good reads at the start of the month and then at the end I read a couple of two star reads like three of them in a row and that just brought the whole average down. Um, in terms of the months where I read the most books, the most was by far August. I read 17 books in August, that's because I went on a um, week-long holiday and I was basically reading a book a day for that entire holiday on top of what I normally read. Um, in fact it was more than a book a day if I'm honest. So that was really good, that was a good reading month. Um, but it meant the averages for that were obviously slightly more average because I read so many books. The worst reading month was actually the month that I started this channel and that was October. I only read about six books in October. It was just a massively busy time for me. I'd just moved back home. Um, I was trying to sort out my career stuff and it just wasn't a good reading month for me. But ironically it was the month I started YouTube so, you know, um, don't know what you want to make of that. In total, I read 35 new releases in 2018, so that's books that came out in 2018, or arcs that I was given that came out in 2018. Um, that's actually less than it felt like I was reading. It felt like I read a lot more new releases than that. I felt like it was going to be about 50% of my books, but as a proportion, I'm quite happy with that. I think I've got some goals for 2019 that I'm doing separate videos for, but my goal for 2019 is to clear my TBR and not get distracted by new books so instead of what I did last year where I made a list of like six new books every month that were coming out that I wanted to read I've cut that down so I'm gonna make it three books every month that I want to read that I'm allowed to add to my TBR I can add extras to my TBR but I'm not gonna prioritize them over books that I already have because <laughs> my TBR is out of control I need to cut it down definitely and while there'll be fantastic books coming out in 2019, they're not going to go anywhere, they're going to stay published once they're published, and it's so easy to get distracted by new shiny books, and it shouldn't be. My average rating for those new books that I read was 3.14, which, again, that's so low, I thought it would be higher, um, but I'll go through the stats now of how I rated each one. I had one one-star read, no 1.5 star reads, four two star reads and four 2.5 star reads so a decent proportion of them were rated below average which is not what I want. Seven three star reads I had 15 3.5 star reads so again that was definitely my highest category by far um, it seems that I enjoy write rating books slightly above average sorry I had five four star reads and one 4.5 star reads and no five star reads so Basically, for 2019, I am going to be more selective about the new books I read as well, particularly ARCs, because a lot of these were ARCs that I requested and I ended up finding just kind of okay, which, to be honest, most of them were thriller ARCs, it's to be expected. So, to translate this into a goal, I'm not going to request an ARC unless I am 100% excited for what that book is about. I'm also not going to buy into the hype of a book before I've heard some reviews about it. It's very easy for people to be talking about a new book and loads of people love it and then loads of people buy it and those people don't love it. It happened recently with Girls Made of Paper and Fire. I still love that book but a lot of people who got their hands on it early in booktube did love it and then people who got it later on didn't love it so they felt kind of cheated I guess by people um, which is a shame but basically yeah, I'm not going to add new books to my TBR unless I'm positive that they sound like something I would love to read. Now we're going to get into some genre statistics. So by far the genre I read the most of, which won't surprise anyone at this point, was thrillers. I read 51 thrillers. Uh, the next highest category was young adult and I read 25 young adult books. Just to clarify, classify young adult as anything that's not fantasy or sci-fi because I put those in a separate category. They're mostly contemporaries, um, as far as I'm, a, I'm aware. If they were thrillers or horror or anything, I've rated them in the other categories as opposed to that. So they're basically young adult contemporary. The next highest one was a surprise to me and it was fantasy and I read 21 fantasy books. 
I always say that I'm not a fan of fantasy and that clearly isn't true so my goal for 2019 is to stop saying that I don't enjoy fantasy because that's not the case and to read more of it because when I read it I really enjoy it it's just kind of getting into the pattern of reading fantasy that throws me off so I'm going to put more fantasy books higher on my TBR and stop just pushing them to the bottom because I don't feel like reading fantasy because I get some of my highest ratings from fantasy and I should read more of it. Next biggest category was horror. I read 18 horror books and then there is sci-fi and murder mystery which I both read three of each. And the final category is adult contemporary which I only read one of. Um, just to clarify, I distinguish between murder mysteries and police procedural thrillers. So a murder mystery is a book where there are clues that you could solve as opposed to it being a kind of police focused cat and mouse chase. It's a very personal distinction. If you don't want to distinguish between them you can just add those books to the thriller category and it's still my biggest category. Now in terms of ratings this is actually really interesting. I worked out my average rating for thrillers, young adult books, fantasy and horror books. I ignored the other ones because they were such small categories that working out on average would be meaningless. And the category I gave the highest average to was horror which was 3.42 followed by fantasy which is 3.38. So again I need to stop saying that fantasy books that I don't like them because they were my second highest category. And Fall into Fantasy Readathon actually helped a lot with that because I had about three four slash 4.5 star reads entirely from that category. Young adult books I gave 3.2 on average and the thriller books I only gave 3.11 on average so thriller was actually my lowest category despite being my favourite type of book. So again the way I'm going to translate this into 2019 is I'm doing that TBR purge, I'm getting rid of any thriller that does not sound fantastic or has below 3.5 ratings on Goodreads. My goal is to just read thrillers that I really love and then hopefully that will boost all those stats up on average. So other general goals that I have, um, I would like to read more horror and I would like to read more horror that is not Stephen King because horror is not really talked about a lot on booktube and I don't really hear about a lot of horror books that aren't Stephen King. If you know any channels that do talk about horror books please let me know where they are because I would love to watch more recommendations about horror that aren't uh, Stephen King. Because while I love Stephen King it's important to branch out and particularly with horror because I am rating it the highest I feel like I just need to read more horror and enjoy that and again that will help boost my overall rating. So yeah that was basically all the 2018 stats that I'm going to report. Um, hopefully you found this interesting. My basic summary that I'm taking out of this for 2019 is that I need to be more selective about the books I'm reading and I need to do a massive TBR purge which I have already started and I will be posting separate videos about but basically in 2019 I just want to read books that are four, more books that are four stars or above. I want to read less thrillers that are just average or not enjoyable, more horror books that aren't by Stephen King and just need to stop saying that I don't enjoy fantasy. So yeah, let me know what your 2019 reading goals are. Let me know what your 2018 stats were. If you've got any stats videos, do post them down below because I do love watching them. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out massively and I hope to see you next time.